What is up? Turtle here coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. It's been a while since we've done one of those and we're going to be opening up the new product, Dual Overload. This is kind of one of those cool reprint sets and uh, each box comes with six packs, five cards each and we have two of them to crack open. This uh, new product just released and I always like to, since we don't always open all the Yu-Gi-Oh! sets, there's so many, I do like opening these, these reprint sets because you know, basically guaranteed to get a lot of really strong cards. Uh, since I don't play the competitive, I don't really follow that closely. Uh, there will be a lot of cards that we're not that familiar with. But, uh, and it also does come with a interesting jumbo card. Pokemon jumbo cards have very limited use in my opinion. And not really sure what to do with these Yu-Gi-Oh ones, but we'll see. Actually, these are kind of interesting. They're kind of like drawings almost we'll see which one we have we have the dark magician girl uh but as you can see it is like black and white and um yeah i'm not sure what to make of this i guess it's pretty cool but uh we'll take it hopefully we don't get double the same thing so as far as reprints one thing that we do are familiar with that get reprinted is the first reprint of phantasme which is really cool card that used to be like a hundred dollars it's uh, definitely has come down, but uh, now I imagine I like the idea of these sets because cards that are really expensive and kind of make it difficult to play or really expensive to play. This kind of eliminates that problem, where you know this will just cause a cheaper um, a surge of the card said card, and will drive the price down, which I am a fan of. I do think, wonder if Pokemon could benefit from a little bit more of that. Uh, usually things aren't too bad. Don't think there's ever any like modern cards that are going for like a hundred dollars or anything like that. But here we go, we're gonna open up all 12 packs. And see what we can get. I think the, took a quick look and there's the Thanos Dragon Phantasme. A something Hellcafax something Anaconda. There's a sign at mining. And here we go. Let's get into our first pack of dual overload. This is probably gonna be our only video. I do have other boxes, but I'll probably just keep them sealed. I believe this is five cards per pack, and they're all ultra rare. And we have a Raid Raptor Y Strix. Let's see if I can get some good lighting. A Giga Plant. Ancient Gear Ballista. Ooh, an Ancient Gear card. That's pretty cool. Scrap Orthos. And then a Melfic Divide. Don't think we got anything too good in here. Ooh, wouldn't mind this card. Uh, the... I think it's like a Relinquish something Anima. Looks pretty cool. So I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there. Uh, practice good hygiene and... Uh, Hopefully these scary times blow over quickly. All right, we got Bujinki ha Ahashima. Not even sure what I'm looking at here. Ojama Emperor. Ojama support, cool. Ooh, Salomon Great Almirage. This is a pretty recent reprint. I think it was um, Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. It's actually a pretty good card. Not sure how well this reprint is doing. And in case you just happen to find this channel from searching Dual Overload, uh, welcome to the channel. We do mostly Pokemon stuff for this channel. Uh, so if you do have any interest in that, make sure you check out the channel. And if you do like what you see, definitely subscribe. Bloom Harmost, the Melodious Composer. The, with this lighting, it's kind of hard to read the cards. Six Samurai Fuma. All right, don't think we pulled anything too crazy yet. Although I do like that Almirage. Alright, here we go. Destiny Hero Celestial. Got a Destiny Hero card. Alien Shock Trooper M Frame. That does look pretty cool. A Madolce Mag Magaline. And then a Dangerous Fighter Nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> okay. And then Simulgorf. I think we've, we've pulled. I don't remember what set this was from, but this does this card does sound familiar. All right, so let's see. Getting through a good amount of packs. Nothing too crazy. All 
All right, Dark Anthalon Dragon. Magical Musketeer Casper. Caspar. A Awaken of the Possessed. White Mare. And Cubic Dharma. Oh, is this like a, from those Cubic stuff from the movie? That was a okay movie. Felt like the seemed like they're using some interesting creatures, but they didn't have the time or didn't take the time to explain what they did. So it's just like here's a zero attack uh, monster that's going to do some crazy stuff. Not that you under can follow it as if watching the movie, but so that part was kind of disappointing. Hollow Giants, Giants, yep. Yeah. And oh, we did get the Anaconda Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. So I think this is one of the best cards. It's a Link Two 500 attack. All right, we'll put that in the background. And then we got uh, Anagram Umbrella and Double Evolution Pill. Cool. All right, and actually that was our first boxes worth. So we got one big hit and maybe a second one or okay hit with this Almirage. I'll have to double check most of this stuff. Cybernetic Overflow. Ooh, last, this is a pretty uh, old card. I think it's like just summon this and remove all monsters. Uh, if this card is special summon, destroy all other monsters you control, neither player can summon monsters. Witchcrafter, ooh, Witchcrafter Creation. This was a big hit in the Battle of Legends Duelist of the Rose, maybe? I can't remember. Could be wrong about that. Alright, five more packs. Malefic Territory. Uh, so, if there's any upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh sets that you definitely think are worth picking up, let me know in a comment down below. I do know that there's like a Toon set coming out, and that one does definitely pique my interest. So maybe we'll do an opening of that. But if there's anything else that's kind of actually almost everything else is going underneath my radar, if there's something else you want to see on the channel, just let me know. All right, Raid Raptor again. Giga Plant, this looks like, ooh, our first pack until we got that Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Man, definitely uh, Savage Strike was our most open set, uh, but because this is reprinted now, most likely we'll stop opening that set, and we got Phantasme right there. Ojama Emperor, and ooh, another Almirage. Put that next to him. All right, so pretty happy with this opening. Wouldn't mind getting an Infinite Impermanence. That's one of the other ones. Uh, we did open some Flames of Destruction, never managed to pull it, Chaos Goddess, and Malefic Toon. Our two packs are remaining. Cubic Casualty, Abyss Actor, a Yuki Ona Absolute Zero Mayakashi. Psy Frame Lord Omega, that looks pretty cool. And then a Palzoic Dino Mistress. What are we looking at here? All right, and to our final pack. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you do enjoy the content, hit that like button, subscribe for future videos, bell for notifications. And, oh, we got another Anaconda, all right. So we didn't get the, doesn't seem like we're likely to get that big hit, but we got two of those Swap Frog, nice. I think I was looking at an ultimate rare of this and it was like super expensive. And then a dangerous fright for a nightmare. Alright, so we did get a good amount of cards. I'll have to see what are the biggest hits. I'm pretty sure it's just those anacondas. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Wanna Turtle. And I'll catch you guys next time.